Hey guys, welcome back. We are going to practice some sentences on the board. And in these videos, the practice videos, you get to be in the class with me. I write on the board, you interact with me. You should, I won't be able to hear you, but interact with me. We talked about the most basic beginning verb, sum s s, sum s s sum, remember that? Well, now we're gonna see it in some sentences. In the other video that you watched where I taught the lesson, I just kind of talked to you. Let's, let's actually look at some on the board here. I'm going to use simple vocabulary as we go through these so that uh, what you're getting is the idea and uh, you're not getting a whole bunch of new vocabulary thrown at you. So you're have, having to figure out what are those words, what do they mean, and review the concept. So here we go. Marcus est amicus meus. Now look, there's that verb we talked about, guys. Est. It's is. Now, it means he is, but remember it can also mean there is, or it can mean just plain old is. Now we could do this a couple of ways. We could say Marcus, he is, but nobody talks that way. So what we'll do is say Marcus is. Marcus is, what is Marcus? He is amicus. I bet you can figure out amicus just by looking at it. Amicus means friend. That's where the Spanish get the word amigo. Marcus is amicus. He is the friend. Whose friend? My friend. The Romans wrote their adjectives kind of backwards. So instead of saying my friend the way we say in English, the Romans would say friend me or friend of me or friend my. Really, that means friend my. So it's kind of backwards. You'll get used to that as we go through this course. Let's look at another one. Marcus est apostolus. Not necessarily the same. Marcus, but Marcus est apostolus. Marcus is the subject. Est is the verb. What does est mean? Is. And of course, I bet you can guess what apostolus means. No, seriously, you can, you can guess. It means apostle, that's easy. Okay, look, fluvius est longus magnus et umidus. I don't know if we've had that word, et, et means and. And you know what, the Romans didn't even have commas, so I shouldn't have done this. I should have written fluvius est longus et magnus et umidus. That's how I should have written it, but I didn't. Fluvius means river, est, there it is again. What does est mean? Is. Fluvius est, you can figure this one out. Fluvius est longus. The river is what? It's long. It's also magnus, it's big. And, and this is good for rivers, it's umidus, it's wet. That's where we get the English word humid. Where I live in Tennessee, it's humid, especially in August. Oh my word. Deus est bonus. Deus means God. Est means is. So easy. Bonus means good. God is good. Bonus is where we get the English word bonus. All right, I'm going to erase these. And then I'm going to put some more up on the board. If I can just find my eraser. Ah, there it is. Then I'm going to put some more up for us to practice on. All right, we're back with some more sentences. Here we go. We're going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to add some plural in this time. Marcus est fessus. There's est again. It means is. But notice we only have one subject, Marcus. Marcus est. Marcus is. And by the way, he's fessus. He's tired. Marcus est fessus. But what if we add a friend with Marcus? Marcus et, there's et again, et means and. Marcus et Julia. Now we have more than one subject. It's plural. It's not singular. Marcus is singular, but Marcus and Julia together, that's more than one, so that's plural. Marcus et Julia, we have to change our verb. We can't say est anymore. We can't say Marcus and Julia is tired, because that sounds terrible. 
Marcus and Julia sunt, we have to say, sunt fessi. Now, this means are, okay? So Marcus and Julia are tired. Now, since we're talking about more than one person, we also have to change fesses, which is a singular adjective, and we have to make it plural. But we'll talk more about that in future lessons. I'm not going to get bogged down in that right now. Marcus and Julia sunt fessi. This is what I want you to, to focus on right here. We were using est, which means is, but when we make it plural, we're using sunt, which means are. Okay? Now, what if I wanted to ask a question? We talked about this in the lesson. What if I wanted to ask a question? What do I do? Do you remember? Add in e to the verb, and then move the verb to the front of the sentence. We'll take a look at here. We have est, right? Est means is, but we want to make this a question, so we added in e, and now automatically it's a question. Estne, estne Marcus Fessus. What am I asking? You can figure this out. Estne Marcus Fessus. Is Marcus tired? Hopefully you said that before I did. You figured it out. What if Marcus and a friend were tired? This is singular, because it's just Marcus. It's just one guy. Let's add a friend. Let's bring Julia back in. We have to use sunt again because it's plural. Suntne, Marcus et Julia, fessi. Right? See it? Again, fess is changed to fessi because it's plural, but we'll get into that in a future lesson. What if I want to just ask if someone is tired? Remember how I told you that est can mean, let me use this one because it doesn't have an E attached. Remember how I told you est can mean is? but it can also mean he, she, or it is, and it can also mean there is. What if I just had est in the sentence? Est nefesus? What am I asking? Is tired? No. There is tired? No. Is he tired? Is she tired? See that? See how I can rearrange things a little bit to make sure that it makes sense? All right, now this is a boy. That's because that's a masculine, uh, a masculine adjective. And what if we wanted to make it Julia is tired, es nefesa. Then we change the U.S. to an A and make sure that uh, we make it, we change the gender. We'll talk about that too in a future lesson. But we change the gender and make it um, a girl. So here we have, is he tired? Here we have, is she tired? And it's all based on the endings. Remember, when you're learning Latin, the endings. The endings, the endings are what's so important. All right, guys, that was our first practice lesson on the board. That's what it's going to look like. I won't explain it to you next time. We'll move a little faster and maybe get through some more sentences. See you next time.